hi guys you are welcome we want to find the value of k given that you have k dot k dot k plus k equals 10 then let's have it to be solution then from here we have k dot k k times k will give us k square dot k plus k to be equals 10. then from here guys k square multiplied by k we have it to be k to the power of 3 plus k to be equals 10. then we can have this as k to the power of 3 plus k to be equals we can simplify 10 as 8 plus 2. then let us have 8 to be in base 2 as 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 this particular 2 everything equals k to the power of 3 plus k then let's group this and this together so we are going to have k to the power of 3 this will change to minus 2 to the power of 3 plus k this particular 2 will change to minus 2 then we should let everything equals 0. Now, guys, from here, this, we can have it as, when you recall that when you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this always equals as when you have a minus b, all in brackets, then multiply by a square plus ab plus b square as this so by applying it here we are going to have our a to be k our b to be 2 so we are going to have this as k minus b our 2 open bracket a square will now be k square plus our a is k our b is 2 so we have here to be 2k plus our b here 2 2 square will be 4 plus this k minus 2 then everything equals 0 now mind you from here k minus 2 k minus 2 is common so we can factor it out as k minus 2 then we open the bracket the whole of everything here divided by k minus 2 here definitely will be k square plus 2k plus 4 the whole of everything here k minus 2 in bracket if i by this we have only one left we close the bracket and everything equals zero then from here we have k minus 2 let's simplify this very well we have here to be k square plus 2k 4 plus 1 will be 5. We close the bracket. We should let everything equal 0. Then from here, for this particular expression to be equal 0, it's either we have k minus 2 to be equals 0, or we have k square plus 2k plus 5 to be equal 0. Therefore, from here, we can say we have k to be equals 2. so likewise from here this is a quadratic this is the first real solution then let's look for the other solution so from here we can have this as k to be equals minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac all divided by 2a Therefore, from here, we must know that the coefficient of k square, which is 1, is our a. So we have our a to be equals 1. Likewise, the coefficient of k, which is our 2, is b. So we have our b to be equals to. Then, y, the constant is 5 and it's our c 
Then let's substitute everything here and see what will happen. So from here, we are going to have our k to be equals our b is 2. So from here will now be minus 2, positive or negative, square root of 2 squared, minus 4, multiplied by a, 1, multiplied by c, which is 5, then all divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So from here, we have our k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 2 squared will be 4, minus 4 times 1 is 4, multiplied by 5 will be 20. Then divided by 2. So we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 4 minus 20 is minus 16, then divided by 2. So we can simplify this as k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 16 multiplied by root of minus 1, then all divided by 2. So from here, we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 16 will be 4, root of minus 1 is equivalent to i, This equals i in the complex number. So we have it to be 4i divided by 2. So we have this to be equals k equals. Let's divide 2 by 2. We have two, minus 2 divided by 2. Positive or negative. 4i divided by 2. Then therefore this will be 2 divided by 2 here will be minus 1. Positive or negative. 4 divided by 2 will be 2i. And this under complex solution. So from here... We have the first solution as the real solution as k1 to be equals to then the second solution will be k2 as minus 1 plus 2i. The third one will be k3 as minus 1 minus 2i as this. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. So, we have this one to be the first real solution. So, let's check. So, when k, the first real solution to be equals 2, here will be 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2. Then, is it going to give us 10? 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. So this is true for the real solution k equals 2. So it will also be true for the other solution. I made the complex solution this. Bye-bye.